Budgets are a foundational element within Dynamics 365 Business Central. Learn how to set up your first budget from scratch, as well as how to import a budget from Excel or copy existing budget entries into a new budget, making year-end transitions a breeze. First, click on the Finance drop-down in your navigation bar. Then, select GL Budgets from the list of options. From here, you will be able to view and access any budgets that you have already created. To create a new budget, simply click New. Then enter the budget name and a brief description. This can be the same as the name or contain additional details. The global dimensions will pre-populate, but you can also add your own budget dimensions by selecting available dimensions from the drop-down menus. Once you've created the budget, you can then edit it in detail by selecting Edit Budget from the menu. This will bring up the budget card where you can edit individual lines within the budget. These lines are pulled from your chart of accounts structure. You can change the way these lines are displayed by clicking on the Show as Lines drop-down. The most typical display is by GL account, but you can change this by selecting a different option from the Dimension Selection menu. You can change the columns to display as periods, projects, or another dimension of your choosing. For this example, we will use periods. You can set which periods you would like to use by selecting the view by drop-down. Choose from daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly views, as well as the accounting period view, which is what we will use for this example. If you would like to see the name of the month instead of the start date, toggle the button next to Show Column Name. Under these settings, the period dates will automatically set to a calendar year view with 12 periods, but you can adjust the dates to fit your budget timeline by opening the Filters tab and entering your custom dates in the Date Filter field. You can use this as an ongoing budget, year over year, by extending the end date in the Date Filter field. Then you can adjust your view by period to a quarterly or yearly view to see the full scope of the budget. Once you have your dates set, you can start adding budget amounts to the lines in your budget. Click in the space that aligns with the month and line item you are setting a budget for and enter the budget amount. This will create a GL budget entry. To view the individual GL budget entries, click on the ellipsis next to the amount field. This will open the GL budget entries card for that line item. Here, you can adjust the existing entries or add new ones to the line item by selecting the Edit List button from the card menu. You can add a description, as well as codes for global dimensions, and the budget dimensions you selected when creating the budget. You can add a new budget entry by selecting New from the menu at the top of the card, or if you have already clicked Edit List, simply click in the Open field at the bottom of the list and enter the amount. The budget name, date, and GL account number will all auto-populate. You can change the date of the new GL entry to apply to a different period of the budget. Or enter different dimensions to apply the budget to specific departments and projects. To save your changes, click on the Edit List button again. This will trigger the creation of the entry number. If you have more than one GL entry for a single period on the line item, the amounts will combine when you return to the budget card. If you have multiple project codes under the same line item, you can use the project filter to see only the budget for the project you have selected. When the project filter is applied, adding budget amounts into other line items will automatically create the new GL entry with the selected project dimension. Once you have created your budget entries, you can export your budget to Excel by clicking Export to Excel in the Budget menu. Enter the start date for the budget period, as well as the number of periods, period length, and any dimension specifics you want to use as filters for the report. You can either schedule the export to run the report based on a formula, or simply select OK to generate the Excel report now. 
If you prefer to work in Excel, you can enter the budget amounts for each period and line item on the spreadsheet, and then import the file back into Business Central. Once you have added all of the budget information that you want to import into the Excel spreadsheet, be sure to save the document and return to the budget card. To import your changes in Excel to your budget, click Import from Excel. Select the budget you want to apply these to and update the description. You can also choose to replace the current budget entries or add new entries. When you have entered all the correct information, click OK and drop the Excel file into the upload window. Then select Yes on the pop-up and click OK to finish the import and update the budget matrix. From here, you can edit any of the imported data in Business Central, the same as your manually created budget entries. If you want to copy your current budget to use for the following year, simply click Copy Budget. From here, you can assign the budget you want to copy the entries from, and the name of the budget you want to copy them to, or you can create a new budget using the copied data. You can also choose to copy only entries from specific GL accounts. Use the Adjustment Factor line to enter a percentage increase to apply to all the copied entries. If you do this, be sure to also select your rounding method, whether it be to the nearest whole number or up to the nearest thousand dollars. Once you have selected all of your options, hit OK to create the copied budget. Click on Yes in the pop-up, then select OK to complete the process. You can now access and edit your newly copied budget and adjusted budget entries. Thank you for joining us for this quick sand tutorial on how to create and edit new budgets in Dynamics 365 Business Central. If you have any questions, you can enter them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at info at quicksand.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on how to use Dynamics 365 Business Central.